Hey, welcome to Sports and More. Um, today I got an interesting topic. I I think it's interesting. Um, I know a lot of you sports fans um, are parents and have kids, and your kids play sports. Um, so I want to get into this. Um, it's become quite a trending thing, popular thing, to have your kid specialize and focus on one sport. Um, personally, I, I don't like it. Um, I think that kids should play as many sports as they want. Um, I think that they should at least play two. And I'm, I'm not saying they have to play it forever. I'm saying like a season of this or a season of that. Just to get a feel for something different. And maybe they'll like it a lot more than whatever uh, Whatever, you know, and I see, I see it a lot, and it's the parents who are pushing this specialization stuff because they want to live out their dreams or they want their kid to become the next big star. And it's like, uh, you know, little Charlie, little Charlie over there is seven years old. He just wants to have fun, man. You know, even at 12, 13, they just want to have fun. Um, now, some kids are different. Some kids, they pick for themselves something that they want to specialize and uh, focus on athletically. And they stick with that. I got no problem with that. Um, in fact, I've seen it pay off for quite a few kids, but, you know, that was their choice. And they wanted to do that. They didn't have no one in their ear uh, screaming and hollering at them, you know, you got to do this and you got to do that. No, that's what they wanted to do. That was their uh, that was their dream. That was their goal. Um, and I've seen kids from my city uh, make it out of here on full scholarships to uh, the University of Michigan, to um, Michigan State, to uh, University of Southern California, to Louisiana State University. I've seen kids do this. And they weren't, they didn't have, uh, you know, one of those crazy dads. Uh, they didn't have none of that. It was just within them that they wanted to go out and they, they said, hey, I, you know, God gave me this ability, this special ability, and I'm not going to waste it. And they didn't. And I think that just letting kids grow naturally, um, like, I'd sign my kid up for, for baseball. Um, if you have the money, hockey. Hockey's very expensive, I get it. Um, or football, um, basketball, you know, all that stuff. I want them to experience all that because, um, at the end of the day, uh, they might not be good at any of them. And that's fine with me. Uh, you know, 
If my kid's not good at any sport, whatever. If he if they're happy playing it, um, then I'm happy watching it. You know, I I just don't understand those parents who are who are crazed. It's like um, it's a sad thing. But yeah, I just wanted your input. Um, where do you stand on specialization, and how many sports did you play? When you were growing up, I played hockey, um, baseball, football. I didn't play basketball in an organized setting. I played basketball just, you know, recreationally with friends. So that's three. So I played three sports, basically. Uh, football didn't last long. It was mainly high. Uh, it was mainly baseball that lasted the longest, and hockey um, for me. So, but I did try football, and um, and I obviously played basketball recre uh, recreationally. So, yeah, I tried three sports. Um, stuck with two of them as I was a you know, young kid. Um, and I just wanna know how many sports did you try and, uh, and were you glad that you did, if you did try more than one sport, were you glad about that? And me personally, I was absolutely thrilled to have something else to look forward to. Um, because I wasn't when I got to play hockey, I think it was my seventh grade year, sixth or seventh. Um, and before that, all I ever did was, uh, you know, shoot pucks at, at our old shed and um, go to open skate as many times as I could on the weekend. Um, but I had never been in high, in a in a um, organized you know type league, and um, so I was way behind, and it showed. Um, I was not good. I think I played two years, and I think I scored. I know I scored one goal, but I'm not sure. I might have scored two. But uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, I had fun, but I, at the same time, I was so disappointed in myself because I thought I was much better. And had I had the chance to um, play as long as some of the kids that were in that league did, you know, they've probably been playing since, I don't know, first grade or something. Um, I might have, I probably would have been a lot better. But, uh, and that was the same thing with football. Um, I didn't ever play football and I, until eighth grade. And I just realized I was so far behind all the other kids because they've been playing it since, you know, peewees. And uh, I've never played it played in my life um, I went to a few practices scrimmage I never played a game um, and that's the way it was but baseball I played that since I was in like first grade um, and that was obviously the sport I was best at so um, yeah, I think the earlier you start kids and get them, uh, involved in sports, the better. And I would also say, you know, uh, I'd start them in more than one sport. I'd start them in, uh, 
in baseball or softball and uh, basketball or soccer or whatever, you know. Um, I'm not big into soccer. In fact, I had a good friend who was real, he, he really liked the game. He played it most of his life. Um, I just I just can't ever really get into soccer. But uh, I think it is, I think it's a good sport for kids, especially hyper kids, uh, which most kids are. So they can run off a lot of energy in that sport. Um, so yeah, uh, anyways, drop, drop your take down in the comments. I've been going on too long. Um, if you watch this whole thing, thank you. Uh, give it a like, give it a subscribe. I just want to say thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.